the new Hearthstone buffs and nerfs have been teased, and we can try and predict what exactly will the buffs and nerfs look like. They're gonna be landing on Thursday, and obviously Demon Hunter and Death Knight are gonna be getting hit, but also things like Druid, Rogue and Priest as well. So let's see what we might be in store for. Ben Hearthstone has done all of us creators a favor and actually showcases all of the cards that are getting nerfed and buffed, so we don't have to search for them. Spoiler alert, I already have searched for them, but this is still just better. Anyway, Sinful Brand is getting nerfed and I'm assuming it's gonna go bumped up to 3 mana, because dealing this only for 1 damage feels like it's gonna be a little bit too awkward, but now that I think about it, maybe that's how this card should get really nerfed because playing against this is just god awful. So it's either going up to 3 mana or the damage is only gonna be 1 damage, but in any case, it's definitely gonna hurt the deck nice and well. We also have Predation here, which is probably gonna get the I-Beam treatment, and it's only gonna be discounted down to 1 mana when you play a Naga. I doubt it's gonna stop going face, so yeah, I'm assuming it's just gonna go bumped up to 1 mana when you play a Naga, so that should be fine. Fail Scale Evoker is gonna probably get bumped to 7 mana, and even then it's gonna be pretty pretty busted, but at least you're not gonna see it as soon as turn 5 or even on turn 4 as much. We also have a Nubricon, which even though Druid right now is not super super top tier, it's definitely a very hard deck to play against, especially in top 1000 legends, so maybe they're gonna bump it up to 10 mana, like this is also the second nerf this guy's getting, back in the day he actually did not have a limit on the minions you get to play, but yeah, they're either gonna bump it up to 10 mana, or they might even slash the armor a bit, but uh, no, I really think they're just gonna bump it up to 10, and that should somewhat fix the problem, at least it's gonna slow them down nice and well, because right now they can literally do crap like that even as soon as turn 6. Scribbling Stenographer is probably gonna get slapped like the same way Walloper got slapped, so it's gonna be a 7 mana. And we also have Battle Necromancer getting the nerf, which was pretty obvious and expected, so it's probably gonna get reverted back to its old state, summoning a 1-2 taunt instead, and it's still gonna see a lot of play I feel. And same can be said for Blightfang. This used to be a free mana free free if I remember correctly, so so that's probably what is happening here, but who knows, maybe they even touch up on the taunts, making them one twos or something. I'm really not sure here, but just reverting it down to a free free feels a bit pointless, honestly, because nobody cares how much health this thing has. And we also have the high cultist getting slapped. And it's probably gonna go up to 5 mana, but still it's gonna be a crazy good card and still pretty worth in Shadow Priest if you ask me. Moving down to the buffs, Symphony of Sin is probably gonna get toned down to a 5 mana spell, and it's still not gonna see too much play if you ask me, but I guess time will tell. Rotten Apple Bomb... I don't even know what they have to do to this to actually start getting included, but it's gonna have to be pretty big, like restore 7 health question mark? Or maybe bump or maybe bump it up to a 4-6, restore 6 health, something along those lines. Like just toning just bumping something with one or two, I don't think it's gonna be enough to really change how unplayable this card is right now. From the depths it's probably gonna get reverted back to its old form, which was a 3 mana spell. Same for Pandaren and Porter, which used to be a 2 mana 1-3. And that was actually for wild, but yeah, right now it's not a part of standard, so Rogue can do whatever the hell they want with it. We also have the 4 mana Demolishing Renovator, which is a 4 mana 4 4 destroy an enemy location, and honestly, what can they even do to make this card actually playable? Like, make it into a 3 mana 3 4 or something? Like, are we really gonna start including it though? For what even? Like, how many locations are that super important to actually tech a card in? But I guess there is potential for Death Rattle Druid to at some point become problematic, so it might actually start seeing some play later. And we also have Chorus Rift, which probably is gonna go down to 2 mana, right? So I guess that's a little bit of extra buff potential for the Rift Wear, and maybe it's finally gonna become a top tier 2 mana deck. All around, I'm not sure if the buffs are really gonna change too much. I guess for Warrior we might start finally seeing some stuff, but the Neutrals and the Symphony of Sins I really don't think is gonna change too much in that direction. As for the nerfs, we're definitely gonna see a bit less of Spell DH, that's for sure. And Big Demon Hunter is also gonna be a lot more bearable. Unholy Demon Hunter is also gonna feel better. And same goes for Druid. And for top legend, I guess nerfing Rogue is not really gonna do too much with the stenographer, but it is helping just a little bit. High Cultist is gonna slow down Shadow Priest a wee bit, but I still think it's gonna remain a tier 1 deck. And also the decks that didn't get touched here are Blood Decay, which is already pretty decent, and Pure Pally, so those should be pretty good decks to be picking up right now. Heck, maybe even Frost Decay is gonna get some popularity back. The deck is still very strong, but I guess the meta was not super perfect for it. But yeah, for 
Thursday around this time we should be seeing the patch going live and probably one hour before that we're gonna get the actual nerfs and buffs happening. So we will have about one hour to actually prepare and see what's up. I will do another video once the nerfs are actually shown and after that I will go live on stream so you might want to check me out. Anyway that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope this helps you figure out what you want to be playing after the nerfs and buffs. Thanks for watching. I'm Crystal Five, and I'll see you in my next video or stream.